In this lesson, you're gonna learn the G chord. The G chord is my favorite because it's a beautiful sounding chord. And even though it involves all four fingers and all six strings, I think you'll find that it's easier to make than it looks. So let's dig right in and figure out where to put our fingers. So your pinky is gonna end up on the third fret of the high E string. Your ring finger is gonna be on the third fret of the B string. Your index finger, the second fret of the A string and your middle finger, the third fret of the low E. The D and the G string, right smack dab in the middle, those will remain open. Now, once you have your fingers in the right spot, I want you to strum this chord, but I want you to do it in a very slow and deliberate fashion because we wanna see and make sure that each string is ringing loudly and clearly. So just go one string at a time. make sure that they all speak. If it sounds something like this, there's some thuddy notes in there, so we have to make some adjustments. This is just one lesson in a series where I'll take you from zero to guitar player in 30 days by teaching you the four super fun skills that'll get you hooked on guitar. Before you get started, you'll need to download the tabs, course guide, and 30-day checklist. To get yours, just click on the link in the video or visit 30daystoplay.com. Oftentimes, actually most times, the case is that there's not enough arch in the fingers. So what you have to do to introduce more arch is bring your fretting hand palm closer to the bottom edge of the neck and that'll give more arch in the fingers and that'll allow you to fret on top of your fingertips which will give you a nice clean chord. Okay, so what I'm gonna do right now is walk you through a quick draw exercise. This quick draw exercise is to help alleviate the anxiety that's caused when you feel like, gosh, how do I get my fingers back to this chord ever? Because it's like, once you hold the chord down, it's like you wanna hold it with a death grip and never let go, especially when it sounds good. This quick draw exercise is gonna walk you through getting your fingers in the right spot consistently time and time again. So I'm gonna give you a countdown. I'm gonna start at five. I want you to work on getting your fingers in place. And when I get past one, when I say zero, that's when we're gonna strum. So it'll sound something like this. So put your hand on your, uh, uh, on your leg and I'm gonna go five, four, three, two, one, zero. Right. So hopefully you made the chord in that time. If not, don't worry about it, okay? It's not, it's, it's not a pass-fail thing, it's a, it's a journey, okay? You have to enjoy this learning process. This is just one lesson in a series where I'll take you from zero to guitar player in 30 days by teaching you the four super fun skills that'll get you hooked on guitar. Before you get started, you'll need to download the tabs, course guide, and 30-day checklist. To get yours, just click on the link in the description or visit 30daystoplay.com.